The problem with that is I am scheduled on about 20 other matters, I believe, on Monday. You see, that's, it's fine to come back to that. that that's the problem. Finish. That's my, no, not no, my no. problem as, as a woman to get adequate please, access please to the finish. board. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Mr. Nolan, you knew what your case was going to be. I know things come out a little different at trial, but generally speaking, people prepare their closing arguments in advance, and they are ready to modify them quickly if they need to, but they're ready to go. So That's it for I, an attorney, but you're not a pro se. I understand that, and I, I'm trying to accommodate as much as I can, but the same rules do apply to you, and I am going to go forward tonight. I, so. I beg your pardon, Your Honor, but this case is concerning the ADA that relate to pro se litigants that have mental, physical, and other accessibility issues, including the, the ability to be able to, to, to ask somebody to come outside and pick up my stupid papers and file them. Okay. And if I've got to spend two and a half to three days trying to find somebody because my assistant over here that I need isn't available, and in terms of cranking out papers. Mr. Nolan, as I said, if you could say, Judge, I'm going to need you know, a break every hour. If you I, did speak, if I did that. I did that. And I said, when we started, anytime you need a break, just ask. You have not asked once during the trial. Because I haven't eaten in, in, since 5 o'clock yesterday okay. after you accept that. That is, you know, that's not something I can do anything about. But my point is, I told you you could have breaks if you wanted them. You didn't request them. If you would ask me to make this a four-day trial instead of a two-day trial, so that you would have extra time? I believe I, I did. I, I did precisely please, that. Please stop me, brother. You may be right and I may be wrong. I do not believe that you did. I generally always grant people additional time if they ask for it. If you had said, you know, as an accommodation, I need more time. I need to end at 3 o'clock each day. I have done that with other people. I would respond to those requests. At this point, it's too late to make those changes. The jury is going to make And I say I, okay? I made those requests orally and in writing, and you've got copies of them. All right, and I may be forgetting something, and if so, I apologize. But I am going to go out. Conduct. Okay, I am going to go consider the one question I've got to do with you about the difference. I will send out to you my revised version to look at as soon Your as Honor, I'm done. Your Honor, there's no way I can, pre I can, I can proceed. With lack of food, the lack of sleep, all the way. Again, I'm going to ask for a reasonable accommodation to basically get this over till Monday. The problem with that is I am scheduled on about 20 other matters, I believe, on Monday. You see, that's it's fine to come back to that. The, that's the problem. Finish. That's my no, not no, my no. problem as, as a woman no, to get adequate please, access please to the courts. I said earlier, and I said today, as I had told the jury, we might need to come back on the next business day for them to finish their deliberations. We can do that because they are in a different room deliberating while I am doing my other hearings. I have a whole day. It's actually now too late to even contact people to cancel all those other hearings on Monday, even if I wanted to, because it's after four. 
But you thought it was me. You canceled. This uh, court has canceled hearings right. the last minute for me too. So. Mr. Nolan, I am not going to. I just can't do it. All right, I can't make it work. If you would let me know earlier, I would have, but I can't. So. You have time now to do some preparation, both of you, while I'm working on this other issue. <coughs> All right. You can see Egypt people is very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here. Cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene and sort of kind of cut spending cause the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers freaking dot com